What did you make of what Rishi Sunak had to say? Was he, was he on to something by saying that people should keep studying some form of maths until they're 18? Thanks for having me. Good morning. Um, I think I've got three things to say, actually, if you could just give me the time. I think I'd like to start with the positive. I think we have a prime minister who's actually talking about education, um, the profession for far too long under previous leaders. We've always felt as if it's a bit of an afterthought. So that's really positive. It's positive we have a secretary of state for education who understands the importance of vocational education. Um, she seems to get that having a broad and balanced curriculum will give people of all ages and stages the ability, ability to have opportunities for a great career. So that's amazing, really positive there. However, that's where my positivity ends in terms of answering your question. Um, because my second point is, I haven't seen the evidence for it. I think it's really important that he, the government, sets out the evidence for extending maths for all students to the age of 18, because the changes will be affecting generations for life, uh, for years to come. So where's the evidence to suggest that that's the right way forward? But the most important thing, and this is where school and college leaders, I believe are up in arms, is, we cannot recruit for love nor money. Um, the recruitment and retention crisis is, is um, it's really, really stressful in schools at the moment. So to extend maths to the ages of 18, when actually you haven't got teachers in the classroom now, I believe our prime minister is a bit misguided. I'd like him to come and walk in my shoes. I'd like him to look at my cover list, whereby if I haven't got substantive teachers, I'm trying to get supply teachers, and then I can't even get supply teachers. How on earth are we in the profession going to be able to offer maths post 18, up to 18. I, I think it's, there's, there's other priorities in my view. But, but Evelyn, I, I guess it's not that um, it's, it's not that Rishi's proposing that it's sort of pure maths and trigonometry and all the rest of it that people are going to be learning, as I understood it. It was more about sort of the life skills things of learning about your finances and budgeting and some of the skills that you would need in the in the workplace when you left work, adding to that emphasis on vocational uh, education. So, I mean, is, isn't that something that, that everyone can agree is something that would be worthwhile for people? But we do that now. I mean, if you look at the maths curriculum now, we we teach all that, you know, we teach the basics. You, you take maths at A level, you, you're kind of advancing your, your knowledge and expertise. But the reality is, and there have been some statistics around the number of non-specialist maths teachers that are already in our classrooms. There was a study done by um, the Times Education Supplement, and they noted that the government has actually missed its own trainee target for math teachers. So if we can't get math teachers in the classroom now, where on earth are we going to get them to um, to extend maths up to the age of 18? I, I think it's, um, the fact he's talking about education is great, but the fact that we have a recruitment and retention crisis, that's where I would like the conversation to start. I would like him to come and help the profession to actually get more teachers into the classroom to teach not just maths, history, geography, across the board, it is extremely difficult to recruit and retain teachers in the profession.